Good evening, I'm Shogh Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa delivered a message to the world on the occasion of World Press Freedom Day, which falls on May 3, 2019. His Majesty the King conveyed his greetings and sincere appreciation to journalists on the occasion and on the 80th anniversary of the publication of the first Bahraini newspaper. His Majesty expressed pride that this year's celebration coincides with the international event theme Media for Democracy, Journalism and Elections at the Time of Media Misinformation. His Majesty highlighted the development of Bahrain's democratic march thanks to the awareness of the Bahraini people and their active participation in the successful parliamentary and municipal elections. His Majesty the King noted the keenness to promote freedom of the press and media as an integral part of human rights, which is a witness to the sustainability of the Bahraini democratic approach within the rule of law and constitutional institutions based on justice, equality and respect for fundamental freedoms and human dignity. His Majesty added that the national media has proved its support of the reform march and sustainable development effectively and impartially covered the electoral process and supported the parliamentary work of the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of Information Affairs and its members for their efforts in cooperating with the National Communications Centre and the Bahrain Journalists Association to develop media in the Kingdom in line with the Democratic and Development March. His Majesty the King hailed the media and national caters as well as columnists for being the true wealth of democratic reform and economic and social progress. He expressed pride in the contributions of women in journalism, media and telecommunication sectors who proved their competency as partners in various work, production and responsibility locations. His Majesty affirmed his confidence that responsible national media in all its forms is the main pillar for establishing democracy and wise governance and supporting the goals of sustainable development in light of the transparency and the rule of law. He asserted that journalists and media personnel are the pillar for strengthening a democratic society with security, peace and justice. His Majesty stressed the need for strengthening the national front and deepening the international partnership and cooperation between media, education, cultural, religious and legal institutions. He expressed hope to fulfill the rights of the people of the Arab and Islamic nations to live in security and peace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular regarding official working hours during the month of Ramadan. The Kingdom's ministries, authorities and public institutions official workday will be from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. throughout the holy month. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delivered a message to the world on the occasion of World Press Freedom Day in which he affirmed the fast-paced changes and challenges in the region and the world mean that journalists and media personnel have a major responsibility in protecting the integrity of their profession and entrenching the role of the press in marshalling the capabilities of societies and prompting them towards progress. His Royal Highness stressed that the press is one of the foundations for ensuring peace and stability, containing and settling conflicts, promoting the spirit of cooperation among states and societies, and directing energies towards the common humanitarian objectives that the international community shares. His Royal Highness asserted that the noble mission entrusted to journalism should be directed to serving nations and to the development of societies, and that journalism should be characterized by the values of objectivity and sobriety which represent the cornerstone in the honor of codes of journalistic endeavors. He called on the journalists and media personnel to devote more attention to development, to ensure that the voice of journalism is heard clearly to maintain security and stability. He said the important role of the press and the media in enhancing the awareness of people and societies should be strengthened to keep pace with the surge the world is witnessing in information and communications. He added that this requires immunizing the journalistic profession against all impurities that might undermine its noble values. His Royal Highness stressed that as much as World Press Freedom Day is an international celebration, it also provides an opportunity for instilling in the new generations of journalists the noble principles of the journalistic profession in such a way as to enhance the value of journalistic work and make it more trustworthy. His Royal Highness added that information moves without restrictions in today's world and might consequently contribute to stroking conflicts and fanning sedation within nations. He said this requires more alertness on the part of journalism to become more capable of building a public opinion that believes in the importance of the cohesion of the national fabric as a shield that prevents societies and states from sliding towards chaos and ruin. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain has always sought and still seeks to ensure the prerequisites for the environment that enables journalism to perform its vital role in this domain. 
His Royal Highness said that the way His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has supported journalism and His Majesty's belief in this patriotic role were the most important supporters of the progress attained by the Bahraini press on the basis of constitutional and legal foundations that bolstered freedom of opinion and expression. His Royal Highness said that the Bahraini press has had an important role in bolstering the process of construction and progress, defending with all devotion and sense of responsibility the causes of the country and the quest to ensure its security and stability. His Royal Highness recalled Bahrain's pioneering journalists and media people and their efforts in establishing the foundations on which the pillars of the Bahraini press and its varied schools were established. The Prime Minister expressed appreciation for the progress and development of the Bahraini press in form and substance and the achievements it has made through the efforts of its innovative journalists, opinion shapers and columnists and the high standards they have set in their free reporting and analysis of all local and international issues. He said this has defined the features of a sober school in journalism that expresses the genuine nature of the people of Bahrain. He extended deep congratulations to the Bahrain Journalists Association and the press and media personnel in the kingdom on World Press Freedom Day and hailed the efforts pursued by the association for the sake of elevating the standard of journalism in Bahrain and fulfilling the aspirations of all its members. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the beginning of the second edition of the IMMAF WMMAA Asian Open Championships held in Bangkok, Thailand, and organized by the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the outstanding efforts for IMMAF for its support and organization of events and championships, affirming that these efforts are aimed at succeeding in developing sports. He commended the levels of the national team's athletes during the first day of competitions.
Based on the close brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al-Aimi, and UAE's Ambassador to the Kingdom of bah to the Kingdom, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan Al Nahyan, attended the ceremony held by the Ministry to honor the winners of the Arab Reading Challenge at its fourth session at the University of Bahrain. In his speech during the ceremony, the minister praised the Arab Reading Challenge project, which was initiated by the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, which was a great success in encouraging millions of Arab youth to read. He noted the efforts of the ministry in urging public and private schools to participate in this competition has contributed to the increase in the number of participants. The minister also spoke about the great efforts exerted by the ministry to encourage reading and researching. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs announced that the Ramadan citing panel will convene in the council's auditorium on the evening of Saturday, May 4, 2019, in order to receive testimonies from witnesses or news reported in the Islamic world regarding the citing of the month of Ramadan's new moon. The council issued a statement urging all Muslims to look out for the new moon of Ramadan and to appear before the citing panel in order to give testimonies. The President of the Arab Parliament, Dr. Mishal Salmi, issued a statement following the statement of Muqtada al-Sadr concerning the Kingdom of Bahrain in its sovereignty and independence. Salmi stressed the Arab Parliament's stand against interfering in the internal affairs of any Arab country and although it prejudiced its leadership, security, stability and the will of its people. He called for preserving the Arab consent to serve the interests of the Arab region at this delicate stage.